So all week, I've been really excited to share this video with you because I just know it's gonna help. Now, your hands and arms play a major role in your swing. In fact, they have play two roles. They help you generate effortless power and they help you control your direction. Now, I bet if you're anything like my students, you're doing so many things great in your golf swing, but not understanding how your hands and arms work is possibly just killing all of that hard work. In fact, I coach a number of senior golfers, who, for instance, who they don't move their body as well as some of the other players, but understanding how the hands and arms uh, work has enabled them to generate another 15, 20 plus yards easily and accurately to their games. I wanna show you how you can do the same in this video. Now before I do look, if you're new to the channel, so your first lessons of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing. I'll always put a free download practice guide in the description box below. So I thought the best way to help you in this lesson would be to kind of, kind of talk about one of my recent students, Paul, who just like so many golfers was basically falling for the cardinal trap. I'll start with the irons first and we'll move to the driver. So basically Paul, like so many players, does this. You know, when he comes down, this shaft starts to get into a very steep position on the way down. Now if you've seen any of my videos, you'll realize that the best players don't do this. The best players swing on a beautiful circle. And they do this because as the club comes down here, see the club is behind my hands here. What this allows you to do when the club is behind your hands is work the club around and basically when it's behind that we can sling it right? But if the club on the way down is like this and starting to, to it is too steep, I've, there's no room, I can't sling it anymore and that's where we get flickiness, we get the elbow sticking out, we get a multitude of things that compromises your power your, and so you can't swing effortless and it certainly compromises your direction. So when I saw Paul doing this, I want what one drill would naturally help him get into a place where this shaft was much more, uh, let's say, a, just to visualize a 45 degree angle, it's not quite, but 45 degrees, so that you could effortlessly generate some speed to the ball. So all I did, <laughs> really, really simple was this. I got him to swing the club back, however he wanted at this stage, and I got him to imagine what his hands needed to do. I said, look, why are you bringing your hands in? I want you to imagine you're pointing the butt directly down the target line. And he's like, right. So why does that help, Danny? He says, well, watch this. If you get the butt to what you're doing right now, you're tipping it. So where's your butt pointing? It very quickly points towards your body. I want you here to point the club, first of all, out to the ball, yeah? And then as you're coming round, I want you to point it directly down the target line. Another way of imagining this, which is equally as good, and some of my students prefer this one, is to imagine the elbow. See, if you are getting the club steep, your elbow starts to point very, very quickly down to the floor, yeah? But if you imagine your elbow pointing directly down towards the target, you're gonna get the club naturally in a brilliant position on the way down. This is your power position. This is unbelievably important. So I initially said to Paul, let's just get that feeling um, first. Now, you've probably seen me doing this, and what do you notice about the club face as I'm doing this? Club face at the moment is still quite open, so you probably expect Paul to hit a few out to the right, and he did, but I didn't mind that. So I, I said to him, do that first. Get the feeling of this motion here, elbow pointing towards the tag. You just feel that, and then make some swings, okay? Now, he, was, he didn't know how to release it from here. I'm gonna go into that in a second because he wasn't used to this. But I got him just to sense this motion first and every sh um, swing started to just get into this beautiful slot and powerful position. So I got him to hit some shots just doing that. And fair enough, he went and he'd hit a few shots and then start to flash a little bit out to the right hand side. Now he said, oh, definitely starting to look better on camera, but it's not perfect. So stage two in this process was then going, right, now you've got this sensation here, what happens next? Well, all you need to do is figure out what the hands need to do now, hands and arms need to do, to take this club and bring it back beautifully to the golf ball, okay? Now, there's two phases to this. All I did with Paul was keep it really simple. Look, I don't want you to bring the club back to the ball using your wrist. This is weak, it's right, not powerful at all. All I want Paul to do is take this butt, right, or the elbow, whatever image you prefer, and as it's moving towards a target, simply do this. The club needs to do what? Move back to the ball. So get the butt or the elbow now pointing more towards 
or behind you here, right? This then snaps the club back around the corner and basically squares up that club. So look at this. I can now hit beautifully down the line, okay? This is how you swing a golf club, okay? It's really, really simple. Now, Paul wasn't used to this. So what we did is, is before we moved on to the distance phase, which I'm gonna go into in a second, I just got him to find a rhythm with this. So I got him to do a couple of things. I got him to do one of these. One, two, so he's pointing the butt towards the target. I said one, two, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna snap the butt towards us to throw the club outwards, okay? Either the butt or the elbow, whatever you prefer. So it sounds like this. One, two, and snap it through, okay? So we started to do a few exercises. Now, what Paul did when he did this is he, he just enjoyed the process, got into the flow. One, two, and snap it through, okay? And I just let him get on with it. Now, I didn't get him to do these, uh, um, these kind of non-stop swings as I've just shown you there. He chose to do that because it just felt right. So he didn't set up mechanically, he just went one, two, and snap it through. And spent and started to get that rhythm. Now, he started hitting more accurately, but he wasn't quite getting the distance that he still should be getting because this is the final ingredient and the one that's really, really important for most golfers, okay? So you've started to get the club now in the slot. You're starting to get an idea of how the hands are supposed to work. The final piece is this, and it's a killer. We're gonna go into driver actually to show you this, is so many players take their torso and as they're coming through, they move through the shot forward. Now think of it this way. I said snap it through. What's this club doing here? The club is moving in towards here, towards our body. That throws the club out, and then look, that's the speed right there. But if you move your body, what are you doing? You're moving the butt also this way. Leaving the club behind, you've robbed yourself of all your speed, okay? So if you want speed, you need to understand that these hands and arms do this. They snap into the body here, right? But then look, we've got to learn to feel like catapult going through. That means your body, this torso does not go forward. It stays on the ball. So all I did with Paul, give him a simple feeling with this. Got himself set up here. I said, bank your trail foot in, turn your hips towards the target here, and really extend your back. Now, Paul has lots of injuries. He has uh, a lack of mobility, but he got into a position which was much more extended for him, and he was absolutely comfortable with it. Now look at this, when you're extended, look at this, I'm able to sling that club outwards now beautifully, versus look at this, no power at all. So with Paul, again, I didn't overcomplicate it, I said, look, you've got the idea, you know your destination, do a couple of exercises, bang the trail foot in, turn the hips towards the target, extend the back a little bit here, now you're going, and he said to me, God, I really feel that, I can see that now, how that would really sling the golf club, whereas this doesn't. And what we did, which is really, really important, is I got him to go through a simple phase of this. I said, look, feel it first of all. Now, I suggest you, is anything you're working on, just do this. I got him to kind of stretch, turn, feel it, and then I go, right, this is what you do, Paul. Feel the difference? That's where you need to be? Okay, walk to the golf ball now, okay, and feel that motion. And suddenly, he's starting to really extend and start to generate so much speed and power in his shots. And he did exactly the same with driver, okay? So with a driver, there's no difference whatsoever. You're still doing the same thing, balls forward. But look, the butt is going down the line. You're snapping that here, back here, look, back into your body here. And look, when we're here, very, very important. If you're doing this with driver, you're robbing yourself of speed, but you're also gonna slam it into the turf. Paul felt this immediately by following this process. Do it in, in the stages, I promise you, it'll hugely, hugely help. It's one of the biggest faults in golf. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends. And of course, look, if you're new to the channel, to your first lessons of mine, please consider subscribing. Look, if you want to know how to hit driver much straighter, as so on more videos on, on, on how to drive straight, check these two out right here. They're gonna help. Until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.